Hello everybody, Ben Rogers here of Courtside Digest, breaking down some more, some of the latest news, probably our biggest drop of news on uh, on Ben Simmons update that we've had this entire season. Obviously, today was media, media day, so we have a lot of stuff come out from different teams across the league. Has been are finally able to talk to the players, the coaches, everyone involved within the, the league's organizations, the teams, and obviously the team everyone's been looking at, especially over the past month, but really the entire offseason has been the, the Philadelphia 76ers and their whole dramatic situation that's currently going on with uh, Ben Simmons. And now we finally heard it from the horse's mouth. We heard quotes from Joel Embiid, Daryl Morey. We even got Tyrese Maxey getting in on the auction. Doc Rivers had a, a nice quote that we'll pull up in this vid. But, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting. So we got a lot to cover, but you guys know what this is. If it's a Ben Simmons update, we have a new episode of the Young Social Light Watch. So... The, play that segment, get this animation so we can dive straight into it. And obviously the young socialite Ben Simmons, he did not show up to uh, media day uh, for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's been reported that he'll probably have to give up in fines about $300,000 a day in order to force his way out of Philly. And we, we probably have most clarity, at least from the Sixers side of things now after today. So as I mentioned, we'll, we'll start with Joel Embiid as he's obviously the leader of the team, Joel Embiid, or Ben Simmons' teammate, and he had a lot of quotes. He had a lot of things sort of mentioned and brought up, and he first sort of talked about how, you know, acknowledging the disappointment that the team has had, right, being knocked out of the, the playoffs against the Atlanta Hawks, who really, the Sixers were favorited in that series. The Hawks, tremendous roster, have a lot of potential, and, you know, a young squad themselves, but... The Sixers should have won that series. They're the top seed. They were one of the best teams in the NBA during the regular season. They just flamed out, and that's been well covered. And, you know, as Joel Embiid says in this quote, he's disappointed. We haven't won anything. He's got to be better. Everyone's got to be better. But in the regular season, they've been dominant. So he know it works, right? They He knows it's working. It just needs to all come together, right? And that's something I guess you can make the argument the Milwaukee Bucks. They flamed out in the playoffs a couple years losing to Kawhi Leonard after uh, Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors being up 2-0, right? That's a tough one. They lost in the first round to the, the Miami Heat, right? They had a couple tough series against the Celtics earlier. So it's, uh, you know, the, the, the Bucks took their punches, even though they were a great regular season team, and they were able to put it together and win an NBA championship. So I get that's probably the direction Joel Embiid's going with this quote. And he spoke on the fans, as obviously the Philly fans are notoriously... Uh, uh, critical of their team when they're playing bad and Joel Embiid says it all makes sense they're paying to to watch watch them play and it's only fair you know that they're they're mad that you know the Sixers have such a disappointing season they lose in such a disappointing fashion right that they they have the the right to sort of do so and yeah this is this is I think a, a important point Joel Embiid made because there was some comments that could have been taken the wrong way by Sixers fans he had where he said Sixers fans have got to be better Right, they're roasting him, saying he should be traded a couple years ago. Obviously, not to the extent that we've seen the the young socialite Ben Simmons, the flack that he's gotten. However, it's a uh, yeah, they, he's kind of reeling back on that. He wants to be in Philadelphia, all these sorts of things, which is you know a good quote by Joel Embiid. But then they get a little bit more juicy, right? Joel Embiid essentially calls out not just Ben Simmons, but the entire organization. We all have to grow up. Right? He doesn't believe that people should take trade rumors personally. And he, he uses the quote, if the Warriors offered uh, offered the Sixers, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson for Joel Embiid, they'd accept it. And yeah, that's that's a fair point, right? That it's all a business. And I get, you know, if your name's been thrown out there that much and the slander's been just thrown on Ben Simmons as it's been, it's a, a bit more dramatic than just a, a trade offer equating what Joel Embiid is saying in this quote. However... It's a, uh, yeah, I, I get where he's coming from. It's a, it's an interesting quote, pretty forward, straight to the point. And then probably the juiciest from Joel Embiid. They get better as we go along in this video, but essentially saying that, uh, he's calling out from Simmons when, uh, when asked for what he'd like to see from Ben Simmons going into the season. Right. And, uh, if he does come back and play, he says, I'm sure we've all seen the videos that would help. Now he's not talking about uh, he's not talking about unfortunately my uh, my animation for Ben Simmons dancing. That's not the video he's referring to. He's talking about all those three point shooting videos. Yes, I'm shooting it up with the left hand. I got the weird awkward form like we've seen with Simmons, right? But 
he's looking crispy in these off-season videos. Now, these also similar videos have come out last year, the year before, after his rookie season, right? Ben Simmons is always showing these these summertime training videos where he's not only hitting threes and drills, but he's cooking up guys in in one in five on five settings, turnaround phase uh, fades, Kawhi esque, Demar Derozan esque middies, right? And the jumper looks fluid. There's no hesitation. The confidence is not there. But as a lot of people have sort of come out and reported. It's, it's mental with Ben Simmons when it comes to the actual game, right? It's not necessarily the mechanics because people say in practices and stuff, the jumpers go in. Is, is Form isn't that bad by any means, even though in a game it sometimes can look a little bit just hitchy, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's a... You know, that's what people have been saying in regards to Ben Simmons since he came into the league. If he could knock down the threes, the Sixers would be winning championships, right? That's that's what it is. He's a baby LeBron if he's, if he's able to have somewhat of a jump shot, so... I don't know. I think the those are the Joel Embiid quotes. I think they all make sense. And uh, you also have one. I don't know if I have it pulled up. No, that I don't have it pulled up. But Joel Embiid also sort of said he has no regrets about his comment in uh, following the the series against the Atlanta Hawks, where he essentially called out the play where Ben Simmons passed up an open dunk to to pass it to to, uh, to Max or not Maxi to Thibel mixing up my players right now but uh who only scored one out of two free throws but just a demoralizing moment in the in that series so he said he, he doesn't feel bad he didn't call him out specifically but i don't know that's something we've heard reports that ben simmons is pretty salty about so i don't know i i don't know if ben simmons is coming back but if you look at the reports or at the quotes in this this camp we have so many to go over from uh the front office guys from doc rivers and uh joe mori I think he's going to end up having to to walk back with his tail between his legs to the Philadelphia 76ers because I don't imagine him paying fines of $300,000 a day in order to keep this going because the Sixers, they, uh, they, they've they said it. They, they're expected to enforce their fines, especially with training camp just around the corner tomorrow. If a player fails to report, then they're... They're going to get fined. It is what it is. If you just don't show up to your job and you're under contract, right? You're not, there's going to be consequences for it. And d- despite how horrific the situation is, right? He, you know, and I ta- made a video on player empowerment and a lot of people still are, are siding with the players, but fair enough, right? Fair enough. However, he has to be willing to eat those fines if he wants to stand back and force his way out of Philadelphia. So that's, that's a big point there. And yeah, they now to be fair, Daryl Morey and Doc Rivers said they both hope to see him back, and uh, the you no, know, not the ill will or whatever. They're not just finding him and ready to to send him out and keep him and pushing him away. But definitely, the the m- fines are going to be incoming. It's not going to be a mutual parting ways or, or any by any such means. And in fact, Morey even said, right from the Ben Simmons camp or. Uh, they they came to us and asked for a trade at the combine in Chicago. And then essentially said, we're not looking for a trade. Now, do I think that's true? No. I think the Sixers, if they get the right offer, they'd be willing to let go of Ben Simmons. However, coming out and saying this tries to give them a bit more leverage, just makes them seem a little bit less desperate to get rid of their obviously multi-time all-star point guard, big, whatever position he's going to play with the Sixers or whatever team he's on going forward. But essentially saying they're not looking for a trade is... Indicative of the fact that they want him in camp, and it's uh, Maury plays hardball. That's what he does. That's what he's always done through uh, his entire tenure as a, a GM in the NBA with the Houston Rockets and different teams. So it's going to be a tough situation for uh, for Ben Simmons to really sit down and give up that much money. People are saying that he could probably lose his entire NBA career earnings. Justin finds a season if he's sitting out, and obviously if he's sitting out, the trade value's not going to go up, and the Sixers just won't be able to trade him. So it's uh, going to get awkward, it's going to get weird, and there's going to be a lot of money lost for Ben Simmons if he continues to sit out, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's a fun, ongoing situation, and we have a nice little video. We have a little video from Doc Rivers. You can kind of see the stress on Doc Rivers. I don't worry, I cropped him out of this video, but I'll play it right here. I'll throw it up. But um, I've never had a problem owning what I say. Okay, never. so now, to so, now you're no, I'm going to finish. Okay, sure. I'm in charge here. I'm going to finish. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Um, 
Yeah, things are not all sunshine and roses for the Philadelphia 76ers. Doc Rivers, he's going at the, the reporters for cutting him off. And I'm sure, as I mentioned, the hardball, the stress, it's all it's all getting to everyone in the organization and the, the Philadelphia 76ers team. And I feel like it's only going to get weirder when Ben Simmons inevitably comes back or if he doesn't get traded. Because it's... It's just a, it's a complete mess. It's the dumpster's fire and all these sorts of things. So we'll end up seeing what happens with these, these quotes. There's so many to break down. And one of them I did want to sort of bring up was uh, Tyrese Maxey. And this was a report that came out a couple weeks ago saying that Rich Paul wanted to pull Tyrese Maxey out of Philadelphia as well. Wants to get his whole sort of squad out of there. Everyone he represents on the Philadelphia 76ers team. And Apparently, they laughed at it. Rich Paul and Tyrese Maxey were laughing at that quote. So, probably fake news, probably a fake report. Maybe he's just trying to not have ill will with the team he's showing up to. Obviously, Tyrese Maxey can't afford getting fined $300,000 a day not showing up. So, uh, and I'm sure he doesn't probably have that ill will because he knows if Ben Simmons gets traded, they don't bring a point guard back. He's the guy that's stepping in. He was getting real playoff minutes, and for a young player last season, that's going to be a, a this is a positive situation for Tyrese Maxey to be in, and he just had a tremendous summer league with Philadelphia. So I'd say he's he's oh, he's liking the situation there in Philly. So I don't imagine he's gonna gonna want his way out if him personally, even regards to his agent, where he wants to happen. And obviously, people don't know Tyrese Maxey's represented by Clutch Sports and Rich Paul, the same agent as Ben Simmons, but. I don't know. A lot of information, a lot of quotes. We've been breaking down the Ben Simmons news, trying to keep you guys up to date on it, but let us know what you guys think. Do you think after, I'm thinking this quote is particularly interesting, how they say they're, they're not looking for a trade, right? I think it's going to be a lie. We've seen Daryl Morey lie essentially straight up saying that he wouldn't put Ben Simmons in a trade for James Harden. Clearly that wasn't the case. He offered, had him on the table, but didn't want to add Maxi and Thibel to a potential package, right? But it's uh i'm sure a deal will come out there but it's gonna be interesting it's you know it got a little bit dry but we had to keep the reports coming some of it was just random reports random news but coming from the sixers front office this team they're gonna be an exciting team to follow this season if ben simmons ends up coming back right watching this team sort of dynamic because they're a strong roster they were the top seed in the eastern conference last season they end up bringing back ben simmons it gets real awkward and all these sort of things happen i don't know I don't know what's going to occur. Ben Simmons doesn't want to play in Philadelphia ever again, right? He doesn't want to be in front of those fans. He knows that there's Facebook groups being organized to sort of trash on Ben Simmons going forward. So it's uh, it's tough. If I had to make a prediction, I think just that the power the players have in today's NBA, who will end up getting traded. But if the right deal isn't out there, who really knows? I do have the Wolves jersey behind me. Obviously, they just fired their GM. However, the new guy coming in is is all in on Ben Simmons. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Lots of interesting quotes, as I mentioned. Let me know in the comment section where you think Ben Simmons will end up by the start of the NBA season. You're the best for making this far. Check out the Instagram, the TikTok, all that cool stuff. Anyways, I'm signing off. Cheers.